Welcome to the Everyday Hustle. This is Sonia Barlow. Monday is BBC day, so we have to get ready. Off to the BBC. People often ask me if BBC presenters get taxis or limos to the show. I wish. Um, you only get a taxi really if you're on, if you um, live quite a distance from the radio show or if it's super late because safety comes first. But for me, it's just jumping on the tube or the underground um, or the subway or the metro, depending on where you are joining us from. But it is London Underground. So we're going to Oxford Street because that's where the studio is based. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform. It's actually one of my dreams to say this on the London Underground one day. Fun facts about the London Underground include the London Underground dates back to 1863. More than 1 billion journeys are made per year. A majority of the underground is not actually underground. So now that we've come to Oxford Street, the BBC studios are about a five minute walk and it's quite a leisurely walk. You get two people watch, taking the sights and just remind yourself how blessed you are to be in London. So a couple of weeks ago, I accidentally misplaced or lost my BBC card. So I have to go into the old BBC building to collect it from security before I can go in and do my show the old BBC building which I have to go into. I don't think cameras are allowed but we will give it a go. Okay so cameras were not allowed but here is just me posing with the BBC pass and the BBC building, tapping in, walking through. So these are definitely behind the scenes. This is the secret source of the BBC where the news happens and then that's how big the building is. People are always asking me how big the BBC building is. And this is just some of the stuff that I want to show you because I do think that we don't talk about this enough, even though it's so, so, so exciting. What I would say is for such a massive building, the lifts are actually terrible and you have to wait so long. But Asia Network is on floor A. So again, it's just about going all the way up and seeing how magical everything else is. I personally really like the color and the fact that you can look down Welcome to floor eight. This is the BBC Asia Network studios and we are ready to roll. This is just me walking in, showing you what it looks and feels like. I also sometimes sit here on a Monday because that's when I'm at the BBC as a co-working space, bring my laptop in, do some meetings and just make the most of being here. Um, again, you can just see how excited I am by having the pass. So every Monday I try and make a effort to come in early or to stay later to spend some time with my producer. So I've come in a little bit earlier because it's the first show of the new year and the first time that we're really gonna see each other and start planning out the new year and just make sure that we have a good rapport because that's so important when you are recording. Behind these doors are actually the actual studios which we'll go into in just a second. Happy new year! Oh, hi, Horde. And you? your fans. Oh, my fans? Can yeah. Live? No. Oh, it's gonna be a YouTube vlog. That's it. I'm going to make this into its own little meme. What's your word for 2023? Mm -hmm. my, um, my word for 2023 is... Oh, shit, I don't know. Your intent. My intent? Follow your gut intuition, yeah? It knows best. It knows, knows more than you do. The fact you know that is so brave. Yeah. I don't know about that. I think so. Mine is limit. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I can calm down. <laughs> no, it's not calm down. It's limit. Yeah, limit. Calm down. It's not boundaries because I can find ways around them. This yeah, is like no, limit. That's what I mean, calm down. So my producer and I had a catch up about the show, what's coming up and how we really want the tone and the vibe to be this year. And now it's down to business. So welcome to the actual BBC Asian Network Studios. Welcome to my favourite place in the world, the BBC Asian studio. This is behind the scenes and we are about to go live. But first, let me sit on my chair and just say hi to the Asian network. Back at the BBC, this is behind the scenes. So when you come through, you have to make sure that your mic is set up correctly, that the nodes are on that your mic is on, that you can hear the sound, that the screen at the background says BBC Asia Network, which is very important, that when your guest comes, everything is set up as it should be. And most importantly, that your producer can hear you because you need to keep that relationship with them. My producer sits outside of the studio. So I have my WhatsApp through my work phone, just in case we need to exchange any messages. Um, and then 
I can also listen to her through my headphones too. You have to make sure that your mic is up for the presenter, it says present here, that you are recording, so as soon as it starts flashing, um, and that your mic is in place. And for me, it's just getting it on um, and getting ready. That is my producer, and that is the camera. Welcome to the Everyday Hustle. This is Sonia Barlow. We go live every Monday at 8 p.m. and you can listen back anytime on the BBC Sounds app. Testing, one, two, one, two. Hey, boo. Hi, darling. Asian network. Just waiting for this computer to log me on. Current waiting time is approximately Asian. two hours. Can you tell us what a producer does? Yes. Um, what does a producer do? Hmm. Um, oh, I'm about to sign Um What does a producer do? Log on to things. Log out of things. Write scripts. Find guests. Edit things. Um, what else do we do? Is that You're all definitely I do? selling Is that all the I job do? role. Is that all I do? What if people want to become a producer? What skills do they need? Ooh, uh, organization. This will go on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Your yeah. managers will see this. That's fine. Um, organization, I think, is the main thing. Well, no, there's lots to it, but I feel like that's the a very powerful skill. It helps me tremendously. You know. But how do you manage your organizational skills, given that you have a neurodiversity? Ah, um, well, lots of notepads, lots of diaries, color coordinated systems. Um, and just hope for the best really, you know, that's all you can do. <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't understand why that's happening. Right, if I just come out, you think it's still happening now? I'll take care of you. Sonia, it's January, what's your piece of... Yes, it has to be the other way round. Oh, why? Because it's, oh, it's for YouTube. Okay. Sonia, it's January, what is your advice to stay motivated in 2023? Follow your passions. Do things that make you uncomfortable. Wake up earlier in the morning. Think about your energy. What time in the morning? Eat well. Wait. I'm going to wake up at 6am every day. Even if I don't get out of bed, I'm going to wake up at 6am. I'm so going to try and go to the gym. in the 6am club, not the 5am. No, I can't do 5am. I don't understand the 5am club. I'm the 6am club because the gym opens at 6. What's okay. I'm getting up at 5. Okay, perfect. And what song are you going to listen to to get you pumped in the morning when it's cold, wet and horrible and you need some motivation on a Monday morning? Something from the genre of grime or UK Ooh, rap. Ooh, okay, okay. If we're who? getting pumped up, who, that's who, where it is. Who, who, oh, I don't know, it's on my Apple playlist. Oh my God, okay, give me one song that you're going to put on. Um, Right now I like, I don't know, songs from Dave. Yeah, give me one though, just give me one song. Or Skepta or Dizzy Rascal. Maybe leaving like an old school Craig What David about song? your favourite boy ever, Drake? Oh, my favourite boy ever, Drake? Yeah. Do you think if we tag him? No. Yeah, tug him, tug him. He'll like him. this vlog. Maybe. Tug him. Um, I like Crew Love or Take Care to start Old with. Old school. Because it's just in that Take Care album, which okay. is my favourite. And yeah, it just yeah, gets yeah. me excited for what's to come. Okay. And also that was a time where I was super carefree in life. So it just takes me back to that moment. Okay, what beverage is going to... A cup of tea, mate. <laughs> but first you start with lemon water. So you have lemon water in the morning. Cold or hot? Warm. Warm. warm lemon water interesting so you warm up the kettle yeah yeah you make your warm lemon water and leave it and the rest of the water you use for a cup of tea okay you have that before you go to the gym or start your day i just go to the gym in the morning because i won't do it afterwards and when i go to the gym i honestly i'm like if as long as i do 10 minutes of something there i'm good that's as much as i think about okay um favorite snack <laughs> snack motivational snack Favourite motivational snack? I would say banana because it's got lots of potassium. Yogurt. Oh my God. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye, everyone. <laughs> Search for the Everyday Hustle on the BBC Sounds app.